Hey guys, welcome to my Bible study corner. It does look a little bit different today because typically this is completely distraction free. Just me and my Bible study bag with all of my resources and all my tools in it. But for today, for our video, I thought I would throw up my awesome nativity right here. The thing that makes this nativity so special to me is that firstly, it was given to me by my two sisters. And secondly, each one of these uh, different characters, they have Bible verses right here on them. So not only are they absolutely gorgeous, but they also have wonderful verses um, from Luke and Matthew. And let's see here, yeah, just look at, oh, and then also Isaiah, also one that has Isaiah's on it. And so it's just such a neat um, nativity. So I thought I would make that be part of our video for today. So it is Sunday. This is the third Sunday in Advent that you and I have been together. This is awesome, guys, don't you think? I think this is super rad that we are making time and making routine for this. I don't know, when this is all done, I'm gonna have to come up with something else, I think. I think I definitely will. So today we are going to be in, let's see here, 1 Samuel 16, 1 and 7. So let me find that here. 1 Samuel, doing this real time, guys. You guys go ahead and get your Bibles. 1 Samuel 16, almost there. Verse 1 and 7. Oh, my page is turned. There we go. So 1 and 7 say, the Lord said to Samuel, how long will you grieve over Saul, since I have rejected him from being king over Israel? Fill your horn with oil and go. I will send you to Jesse the Bethlehemite, for I have provided my, for myself a king among his sons. And then verse 7 says, let's see here. And the Lord said to Samuel, Do not look at his appearance or on the height of his stature because I have rejected him. For the Lord does not see as man sees. Man looks on the outward appearance, but the Lord looks on the heart. Okay, so if you wanna get that full story there, read all the verses in between, read the verses after, oh, and read every single verse after that too while you're at it. Um, always just in small chunks, but you kinda of see what I'm getting you to do there, mm-hmm. Okay, so our devotion says, when God chose a new king for the people, God did not choose the strongest or biggest or even the most good looking. God chose David because the Lord looks at the heart. God looked past the outer package for it is what is inside that really matters. We hear that all the time, but guys, it's true. Don't let that be some cliche thing that we hear, you know, don't judge a book by its cover and all these things, because how many times, honestly, have we seen that for ourselves? And here's another example of God, once again, choosing something powerful for his, for his work that just came from nothing. That was, I mean, we are made from dust. Moses had a speech impediment, and yet he, you know, went and, and, and spoke to Pharaoh and led his people out of Israel and all these different things and led people through the desert and all, all of these different wonderful things that the Lord did through him. And even just think about yourself in, in your own times where, where you maybe haven't felt like you were the most qualified for something, and yet in the end, boom, God used you in a powerful, powerful way. Well, that's the example here we have with David. David went on to be Israel's greatest king. Open your heart this week. Offer what is inside as a gift to God as you prepare to see the coming Savior. And we know what's in our heart, it's the Holy Spirit. So what we're offering is just what he's already given us. It's not anything new that we're coming up with. It's what he's already put inside our hearts that we just offer back to him. Gratitude, thanks, praise, um, blessings, all of these things. Okay guys, so here's our challenge for today. It says, open your heart this season. God is on your gift giving list and the only thing God is asking for is you. Don't you want the gift you're giving to be the best it can be? So pray that the Holy Spirit can be working in you um, during this season, opening your eyes to opportunities to help others, opening your mouth to speak when you need to speak, and just really seeing what you can do during this time. The Holy Spirit will guide you. All right, guys, I will see you tomorrow. Bye.